a gutty effort by Georgetown. You know, we, we, we did a lot of good things, uh, but, you know, our, our inconsistency again just catches up with us. Um, but, but, you know, then we, you know, we get it back at the end. But I just think you got to give Georgetown credit for just, just keep, keep uh, grinding and, and not going away and continue to make plays. Um, you know, uh, Pryor and, and, and Peek are, um, we did a good job on them for a while and then they got loose. They got loose for that period and we didn't make shots and it was a ball game. Jay, some of that inconsistency with the manager guys? You know, I, I, know Ter I, I don't think so. I mean, you look at um, Peek played 36 minutes, Momor played 35 minutes, Pryor played 34 minutes. You know, it's not affecting those guys, <laughs> you know? So, um, Josh played 37 minutes, but Mikhail played 34. No one else was, more, you know, we don't, I think I told you, we don't have anybody in the top 10 in minutes in the league. I, 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 I just think it's, it's. Um, I think just, just mental concentration. I, re I really do. I think, um, and, and it's just maturity, you know, as, as a basketball player and a basketball team, I mean, we've just got to become uh, more focused. Is that surprising considering this is a better group? Uh, no, not with this group. No, they just they're just loose guys, you know. They're just they're just fun loving loose guys, and uh, they're great guys. They don't get, um, you know, you can see they get down, they blow leads. It doesn't it doesn't affect them. They don't they don't get uh, they don't panic. You know, it's just um, it's, it's just their per it might just be the personality of this team. You know, Jay, is it a fine line between trying to make sure they? Don't have those lapses and talking too much about it, so they're just in their head. Exactly, Mike. It's a it's a fine line of um, you know not losing their their confidence and and, and 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 us being able to use their confidence as an as a as an advantage, and um, but not being too loose that you you relax and and give up leads. It's that we're right in between there. You know, it's like we don't go on long stretches, you know, we just, we go on short ones, they come back, you know, it cost us at Butler, it cost us at the end of the Marquette game, it's exactly what cost us, um, and we just, we, we've just got to grow, we've got to continue to grow. How would you rate the defensive performance? Um, fair, fair, I thought we, we uh, again, we had good stretches, you know, down the stretch we had some really good stretches, you know, when we needed it. Um, first half I thought was really good. But then you know we have those, we just have those, those periods where we, where we you know we, we lose focus on the game plan, you know we lose peak, we we lose prior, um, you know even at the end there was a stretch here, peak got to the rim like three straight times, you know, and he's great at that, you know we were doing a good job keeping him out of the lane before that. Um, Josh had a struggle in the second half, but came on strong at the end. But you know what? He's a he's a stud. I, you know, certain guys, certain guys just physically, you know, they, they they can handle the minutes. I think Josh is one of those guys. Um, I, I, you know, I know you guys keep asking me. I, I will look at it even deeper. But I, you know, he makes that shot at the end. You know, we we run a play from there at the end. He he drills it. He's He's fresh. He's playing defense at the end. You know, I um, that that three at the end. I mean, you he's coming off the baseline to the middle of the floor. You, you got to have strong legs to catch that and drill that, and he does. I, I think it's just more concentration. For a second, this, this young man was right in the middle of you run there in the first half. He's just playing. He's just playing great. He's just um, just getting better every day. I'm, I'm so proud of him. Um, he, he, he all the little things that 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 are difficult for freshmen to learn: the defensive concepts, the game plan, defensive game plan, um, little things like the offensive rebounds, making the right pass. He just picks up on all those things. You guys will see in the future. I mean, he's a great scorer and. You're just starting to see a little bit of it, but he's doing all the other little things, and that's why he's become so valuable to us. Jay, you feel like these guys are in a good position to go on the road? Yeah, I mean, I, I do, Dan. I, you know, they don't give me any reason. <laughs> you know, they, they find their way, you know, to do it. And um, I know they'll go into 
to Xavier ready to play. I know they'll go in with confidence, with great respect for Xavier. They do that every game. Just a matter of how will we handle, you know, periods during the game, putting 40 minutes together. Coach, Nikhil's 34 minutes, along with how well he's played offensively and defensively. What has his impact meant to you guys so far this season? Uh, it, it's been tremendous because he, he, um, he can guard any position. You know, Daniel Cheffer used to do that for us last year. Um, you know, we'd switch Daniel onto a point guard. You know, it's he, he can really do that. He can play a five, uh, and he's really taken that role, and he, and he takes pride in it. And um, and also, he's an aggressive scorer. You know, he's shooting the ball really well from three. I mean, tonight I don't think he did. I only took two, but he is shooting the ball well from three, he's shooting a high percentage. He, he just becoming complete. You know, I think he, I think he's got the ability to be the kind of player Josh Hart is, where he's just a totally complete player. I think Dante does too, where they do everything. Josh, did you uh, come up with a second win there in the last couple minutes? Uh, uh, you know, <coughs> it, it started when we started getting stops. You know, we we um, you know we they, they we gotta give them credit. They they so they were walking that lead down. Um, then they got it down to two, um, and then we, we we put together a couple of stops, and that really, um, you know, fueled uh, you know the last couple of minutes on the offensive end. Uh, you know, and like I said, you gotta give them credit. Seen they, this team has seen have some lapses the last couple of games in, in the second half. Is that just, just Jay <coughs> might just be the personality? Of this you agree with that, or is there something else to that? Uh, no, I definitely agree with it. Um, you know, it, it starts with the three seniors. Uh, you know, we got to um, demand that. Well, first of all, we got to demand it of ourselves, uh, first and foremost. And then you know, just playing building up a basketball and demand that from the younger guys uh, and, and, you know, be uh, role models for them in that aspect. So, uh, you know, it, it starts with three seniors and then, um, you know, trickles down. Is there something you're concerned about at all? Uh, yeah, uh, you know that we've had several games like this, so we got, you know, Chris, Daryl, and myself have to, you know, we have to demand it, um, and you know, it, we have obviously we have a you know a little bit younger team, but you know us us three, you know, we've been in, uh, you know, we've been here for four years, uh, we've been, um, you know, some some big games, uh, you know, and we played Villanova basketball. We've been with great guys who played Villanova basketball. And we just gotta, you know, we just gotta demand it. Like I said, and that's something that, uh, you know, definitely, um, no concern. But something that, you know, I think we can, you know, head it in the right direction. But we gotta just keep doing that. Dante, you're playing more point now. Can you describe your confidence in that role? I mean, I'm confident in every position that I play. Um, just the point guard position. Just get it over half court and just initiate our offense. But. Once we initiate the offense, we're all ball players, and uh, I mean everybody has the same role. Jay, uh, you have three days off before the next game. Any update on Phil? Uh, where, where you stand with him right now? Yeah, he, as as I said, every day that he he we don't get him in practice, it, it, it looks worse, you know, for getting him back. Again, I'm going to let him make that decision. So. He hasn't had to make a decision because he hasn't been cleared for practice yet. So, um, you know, it, it doesn't. And, and you know, the, the longer it goes, um, you know, he he's going to have to make a, a choice, you know. And, uh, so it's not looking good. Is the choice between waiting some more and having surgery? Is that what you're going to make? He's going to have a couple choices, yeah. Um, you know, and when we got to find out what the rules are, like, you know, if it, if it gets to a point down the road and he's healthy, does he have a choice to say, I, I only have four games left, I don't want to play, you know? I, we're not even sure about that. We, And then if one of the choices is surgery, you know, it, and he chooses surgery, he's done, obviously, right? If he doesn't choose surgery, probably it's going to be longer rest. So... It, as I said, it doesn't it doesn't look good. I mean, we ask you this all the time in deadlines. You, you, you haven't made a deadline yet, but is it getting closer to making one? Uh, no, because I'm not going to. I'm, I'm get, leaving it up to him. You know, so it, he's working every day to try to get where we can at least 
practice him. You know, he went he went full court the other day and came up sore the next day. And you know, full court just run, working out. You know, not with the team, just on his own. And came up sore the next day. We had to rest him for two or three days. So um, that's why I say it, it doesn't look good. Josh, when, when Georgetown makes a run like that, uh, like, do you feel concerned like a cynical way or do you have this feeling after so many years that you know you guys can do what you did in the game? Uh, no, def definitely a concern. You know, when, when, you know, when they're making big runs like that, uh, Georgetown boss a lot of teams. And, and you get it down, they get it down. But I'm not sure how much we were up at one point, but you know they get it down to two two points. You know definitely, and we that's what we just gotta, you know, just get out, you know, on the on the defensive end. So yeah, yeah, definitely, um, you know, concerning. But you know, cause you you can't have that mentality, that mentality of oh, you know, they got it down to two, but we're gonna, we're gonna be good. You know, cause if you do that, then you can you know you get overlook you know overlook guys. Um, and we respect, you know, each program in the Big East. And, you know, we got to know, we got to put, put together 40 minutes. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thank you.